Yo, I just been going through the internet, you know what I'm saying? And then I just kind of like realized like it's no real insight. So this is what I'm about to do. I'm about to give y'all some real insight on some things right now. Now, first off, I want to start real quick and want to shout out my boy J. Cole. He got an album coming out next week. It's called The Off Season, you know, and, you know, I check out his music. But I hope he's aware on this album, like, so people, like, of what people are saying about him. Like, if they say his music is um, boring or his, his singles are, you know, you know, just basic, you know what I'm saying? Just they're not, people have the already that perception on him and he already might know it, but I hope he faces that, you know, on this album and kind of stands up to some of the things that people say. And not only do that, do I want him to do that? I want him to like stand up to the occasion and prove him wrong and go in different directions and just kind of like show his versatility more on this album. Now, <clears throat> I'm glad I got that out of the way in under a minute. This video is really about this, man. On the internet, I've been seeing a lot of false information about this CLB album, you know, that's supposed to come out last year that didn't come out. And I was actually one of the first people to even let people know because I was actually bringing real insight at that time. I was like, no, y'all ain't gonna get this. Okay, now, so if the artist Drake comes out and he ain't saying nothing about the album, then how the hell are y'all going to get information? Because he has his team already trained and they know not to put out no information. So ain't nobody going to do no slip ups. They had a few leaks last year. You know what I'm saying? And y'all got a few sneak peeks of what he was working on. And then that ended up going on the DJ Khaled album that just dropped a couple weeks ago. Shout out DJ Khaled, you know, but right now, since the artist is not giving out much information, y'all have to fall into like wrapup.com and DJ at, you know what I mean? And you, this is exactly what he said. He was just like, yeah, um, I hit up Drake and he said he didn't respond. So, you know, that might be good. Usually he'll respond and tell me. But this time he just kind of like left me on red. He didn't say nothing. That might be good. I don't see it coming. Uh, I don't see it coming no later than July, you know, and then you got all these people who don't have no real information and just take that little piece that he said, which obviously, if you really listen to the guy, he doesn't know anything about the album. He can't tell you what to expect. That's what I'm about to do. You know what I mean? Right now, he couldn't do. He's never done that, you know, so all I want to say is. Like, make sure y'all getting y'all information for the right places because a lot of people are getting their information from me. <laughs> Believe it or not, they look at the little sites that I be on and they like, yo, who is this guy? He's talking some real good, you know, he, he got real insight. And that's one thing that I do bring. So let's talk about the album with some, no one has never said this, you know. You know, it's, it's going to be a feature heavy album, you know, and that does not mean it's going to be a long album. You know, it's just going to be, you know, but he's picking between 16 and 17 songs and with 17, it might be the single that he dropped laugh now cry later, which I think came out in like 2020 or 2021 or something like yeah, 20, last 2020. So with 17, that's going to be a bonus song on the album. But like I said, though, the album is going to be feature heavy and the production is going to be very mainstream. It's going to be very stadium. It's going to be very his production is going to step up to a mainstream and he's going to have a so far gone emotional infused feel to the album. You know, I mean, this is just based off of what I heard. It's it's not going to be it's going to be an album. And one thing you got to know about albums is the story mode. It's like when you play in a game, you can play and then you can run around on GTA and then you can go to the story where the album is going to get you from start to finish. You know what I mean? It's going to narrate. It's going to be, it's very complete. It's feature heavy. I don't want to say who's on, going to be on the album right now because I don't, J Drake does not like people to make inferences on his music. So I, I'm not going to do that. I do know that it's going to be some interesting things for the people. You know, he's going to, he, he's confident in his music. And he, this is the album that he's had the most time to to work on out of all his. I like, and, and remember, like this is not the first time that he he will announce an album and then just disappear. It could be two years. Like he he he's known for announcing albums two years before they even come out. 
you know, and then he's perfectly up fine with that because during the, during the two years that his, the phases of the album changes so much over time, he, he's just grown to accept it and be like, yeah, well, this is, this is my formula, you know, because I know I'm going to take my time with it. So I'm going to deliver it the way that I really want to deliver it. So that's something that he's perfectly fine with, but y'all got to understand this man has worked hard, you know, and he earned, he earned the right to make music at his own pace and at his own time. And whether the fans like it or not, the label can't even say nothing. He's not even really in like a deal anymore. You know, I think he completed that, but he he's probably signed like some type of other deal. But anyway, the label won't even say nothing. He decides, his team decides when he drops. He's earned that right. Because every time he spins the wheel, it goes, you know. So it's going to be it's going to be well worth the wait. And I know a lot of people are impatient, but y'all got to understand this guy is known for dragging, like not dragging it out, but really taking his time. He's known for doing that, you know, and then, but he delivered. So views was like that. Um, Scorpion was like that. And then, you know, it was a few more, but he's going to deliver. And right now, the main reason before I end the video, I'm going to tell you why he hasn't dropped is because, it's like that song Jay-Z said a long time ago, show me what y'all got. I can come out and put mine out and have the billboard with the little scary, with the scary hours too. The dude had like three, it was only three songs on the, the EP or whatever you want to call it. And then they all went to billboard. He can come out, take over the billboard, but it's like, yo, y'all step out. I don't have, I'm not going to, I want to see what everybody else doing. Then I come out, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to, you know, be the savior this time. He's been being. So right now he's going to give it to like, you know, a J. Cole and, you know, other people, you know what I mean? Like, or, or Kendrick and, you know, maybe some of the new artists, but I don't want to name all them right now. But, yo, I'm trying to tell you around August, blessings will be upon thy ear. That's what I'm hearing, you know, so. Believe that right there. Don't listen. Everybody else is guessing. Around August, you're going to see what's up, man.